Once we were done skating Guatemala and checking out the ruins of Tikal, we made it to a brand new country, Belize. A place where they speak English, they have Rastas chilling on the side of the road. It's a whole different culture. The people from Belize, they weren't too familiar with skateboarding. It was kind of a trip because people would constantly come up, shoot photos, or want to talk, or want to try and ride the board. That part was actually awesome. I actually gave an old board away to someone that used to skate. So I was like, hey man, get back on the board, skate. We were the first international skate crew to go there but it was super hard because of the heat and the humid. I never skated in that hot weather. So once the skating in Belize city was done, we were going to check out some more ruins. This time, Lamanai. To get to Lamanai, we had to take a boat. There we seen some fishermen who were showing the fish that they had just caught, and some Mennonites, which are kind of like an Amish type of uh, culture that live far away from our regular society and try to use minimal technology as possible. After a one hour exciting boat ride, we finally made it to Lamanai. So here I'm holding the new Mayan calendar, which began in 2012, when a lot of people were thinking that it's gonna be the end of the world according to the Mayas. Well, we're still living in this. Lamanai is the third oldest Mayan site in the world. It's popular because it holds the largest mask ever found in Mundo Maya. And only a small portion, which is six out of 739 structures, are visible because everything else is covered up by the jungle. By the time we got to the top of one of the largest Mayan pyramids, some crazy sounds started coming outside of the jungle. They're mad. We thought it was a jaguar, perhaps, but later found out that it was a little monkey called a howling monkey who's fighting for his territory. Kind of sounded like my dad sleeping, honestly. After seeing the ruins and skating Belize, we started making our way towards Mexico in hopes to find some better spots. Came over and crossed the border to Mexico. When we drove in, the difference was almost instant. It was a game changer compared to battling spots in Belize.
So after visiting Guatemala City, Tikal, and Belize, we're now in Mexico on the border town called Chetumal. <laughs>